Well, no doubt Michigan winters can definitely be hard on our bodies and especially our lips. That dry, chat feeling is pretty universal this time of year. It drives you crazy, right? Well, most everybody's go-to treatment of lip balm is lip balm, of course, but do you ever feel like you're becoming dependent, maybe a little addicted to it? That's why we're bringing in Dr. McGeorge here to talk about if you can actually be hooked on this. We brought this up in the newsroom and so many people were like, yeah, I feel like I always need it. There are people that feel like they yeah. just aren't right without it. Exactly. Well, you know, you wouldn't think something as simple as lip balm could have a downside, but there are actually a few things to consider. For example, could you be applying something that's actually irritating your lips, making, making matters worse? Could you maybe have a medical problem that's causing your lips to be drier than normal? Or could your lip balm use be closer to an addiction or a compulsion? Kim from Garden City knows she's a heavy user of lip balm. I'm obsessed with lip balm, actually. Really? Okay, yes. Yes, I am. <laughs> she doesn't like having dry lips, but it goes even farther. When you don't use it, do you feel like you have to use it? I'd say yes, that I definitely am missing it. I'll be looking for it and panic if I can't find it usually. Kim may be extreme when it comes to that, but just walking around campus marshes, frequent lip balm users weren't hard to find. So how often would you say you use chapstick or lip balm? Probably like every like 10 minutes. So how often would you say you use it? Very often. <laughs> Do you ever use chapstick or lip balm? I have it on now. There's a reason so many people use lip balm. The skin on your lips is different than the rest of your body. Our lips don't have sweat glands and they don't have oil glands. And then they also lack that top layer of the skin that keeps the moisture in. For that reason, they get very dry compared to the rest of your skin. And while Dr. Allison Zarbo, a Henry Ford health dermatologist says, There is nothing in lip balms that I'm aware of that would cause an actual physical addiction. Here's why some people seem to be hooked. When your lips are dry, and that's an irritating issue for you, you're going to want to keep putting something on to make it better. The problem is if what you're applying on your lips is just causing a vicious cycle and causing irritation, then you're not going to get anywhere. Knowing what's in your lip balm is important. Well, there are some ingredients that you want to look for. Petroleum jelly, also called petrolatum, is excellent, as is shea butter, glycerin, dimethicone, mineral oil, and ceramides. Those are all good things that will help moisturize your lips and should not cause irritation. But if you find your lip balm is irritating and causing you to have to frequently reapply it, try to avoid these things. Peppermint, camphor, and menthol can impart a cooling sensation on your lips, but they can cause irritation, especially if your lips are already dry at baseline. You also want to avoid fragrances, and you like, ideally, you should also avoid, avoid certain scents like citrus and mint and cinnamon because we know those can cause more irritation. Another cause for irritation is lip licking. When your lips are dry, I think it's a very natural reaction to try to lick them because your saliva is wet and you're trying to make it not dry anymore. But your saliva actually has digestive enzymes that so when your lips are dry or irritated and you're licking your lips, you're just compounding the issue and you're making it much, much worse. So how do you know you might be using your lip balm too much? If you feel like you need to put your lip balm on multiple times a day and it's interfering with your school or your work or your relationships with people, you're getting quite anxious about your application of lip balm, then you need to see your doctor. Now, in full disclosure, my own lifetime habit is actually to apply lip balm right before I go to sleep so I don't wake up with dry lips. And I got to admit, I feel really weird if I don't have lip balm on my lips when I go to sleep. Like when I sleep, I feel weird. Now, the other time, actually, that I apply lip balm with some SPF factors when I'm out mm -hmm. fishing because I just feel like my lips get irritated with all that extra sun exposure bouncing off the water. I hear you. Like at night, I always have to do the lip balm. But what about those, see now I love the lip scrubs because I feel like you get the dead skin off and you put the good stuff in. Well, no. so dermatologists don't actually recommend oh. lip scrubs and that's because your lips actually naturally exfoliate. In fact, using lip scrubs can technically worsen irritation or dryness. What? Now, yeah, and oh, I know yeah. people have more questions on this topic. It's a good one. So coming up tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. on Local 4 Plus, what parents can do about kids' chapped lips, plus some expert advice on how to handle chapped hands. Wow.